Portland, of course, is a very progressive city, one that does not spay or neuter its hippie population. So it's, uh, there, there is an overabundance. Uh, yeah. Portland is a city where you can find the answer to the question, how many didgeridoos do you need to hear until you want to blow your brains out? Does anybody, does anybody know the answer to that one? It's one, that's right, it's one. It's one, one didgeridoo. So I've had some weird experiences in Portland. Last time I was there, I was hanging out with a friend. He introduced me to his friend. Introductions are always weird for me because my name is Hurry, and that's constantly mispronounced. It's Hurry, Harry, right? Different ways to screw it up, and it leads to these awkward conversations. So this guy asked me what my name was, and I told him my name is Hurry. Hurry? No, it's Hurry. Hari? I'm like, look, I don't want to play this game right now, okay? Just uh, <laughs> make eye contact, say something close. I'll know you're talking to me. And, and he got really upset about this. Like, no, I want to get your name right, okay? It's important that I get your name right. Because people get my name wrong all the time, and I'm sick of it. I'm like, all right, man, what's your name? My name is Dave. <laughs> Wait, did you just say your name was Dave? No, not Dave. My name is Dave. <laughs> and so I hugged him. <laughs> Yeah, I, I did. Here, here was a man who could relate to my secret pain. And after our embrace, I asked him, friend, why did your parents name you Dave? And he said, well, they didn't. They named me Dave, but last year I legally changed it to Dave. It's, uh... It's, a, it's spelled D-E-Y-F. No. That is not my problem. That is a much different problem. That is a much larger problem. That is clearly a Portland, Oregon-based problem. Don't pretend! So, as I was exiting my apartment this evening, I saw parked out in front a hybrid Escalade. <laughs> a hybrid Escalade. Come to terms with that reality. What kind of people are buying a hybrid Escalade? Well, you see, I'm an environmentalist, and my husband's a f douchebag. <laughs> And this is how we compromise <laughs> to keep our sham marriage alive. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know, man. I, I don't know how much people are willing to concede to save the planet. Like, recently there was a story about sun chips, right? Sun chips had biodegradable bags. Amazing, right? Like, uh, corporate responsibility, it shows that they want to save the planet, fantastic. But then people started complaining that the bags were too noisy. <laughs> so then they got rid of the biodegradable bags. Do you know what else makes a lot of noise? The end of the world! <laughs> what the hell is wrong with everybody? I don't know. I was on a plane recently, I was reading the, the, the in-flight magazine. The in-flight magazine for that particular trip was an environmental issue. Yeah. I was reading about the environment while sitting on a pollution machine that can fly. <laughs> so I'm clearly cynical, but I'm bored, so I'm reading the, uh, the first article. The first article is called, Top 10 Endangered Places. Here's the first sentence. Climate change and tourism are threatening to destroy these natural wonders. Okay, I'm kind of surprised here. Clearly, tourism is in the best interest of the airline industry. Yeah, way to go, man. It's a responsibility, airline. But then I read the rest of the sentence. Climate change and tourism are threatening to destroy these natural wonders, so you might want to plan a trip now <laughs> before these sites are gone for good. We're screwed. 
we're screwed because some corporations are treating the planet like we're in second semester senior year. It's almost over. <laughs> it.